Yeah, just a second, ma'am. I'll just uh, give an introduction about your profile. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Uh, good afternoon to everyone. Uh, on behalf of uh, Department of IAC, I will warmly welcome everyone for the final session of the six days HTTP on IoT and its applications. I take the privilege to welcome uh, our guest speaker today. Uh, she is uh, Ms. Jay Chitra. Uh, she is an assistant professor from Department of ECE, Karpam Academy of Higher Education, uh, Tamil Nadu. Ma'am has more than uh, six years of experience uh, in machine learning, deep learning, IoT, WSN, wireless communication, optical communication, and industrial 4.0. Uh, she has completed her uh, BE uh, in ECE in the year 2012, ME in communication systems in the year 2015. Ma'am uh, ma uh, ma has a professional membership in uh, bodies like uh, IAENG, FB, MIST. She has published more than 10 papers in international journal and two papers in international conference and uh, eight papers in national com conference. She has more than uh, four books to her credit. <clears throat> She has been a resource person for various uh, HTTPs and FTPs that is conducted uh, recently. She has attended more than, she has been the resource person for more than uh, five to seven HTTPs. Uh, she is, currently she has two patents filed under her name. Uh, she has received best faculty award during the year 2017, 17, 18 and the best paper award for the paper titled Aut automatic fracture detection in bone images in the year 2019 and one more best paper award uh, in the titled uh, cardiac image enhancement in the year uh, march 2019 she is the reviewer and edi editorial board member for uh, iet image processing uh, and then uh, uh, the papers like computers in biology and medicine Ma'am, I warmly welcome Jai Sitra, ma'am. Uh, session is yes, over to you, ma'am. Yes, sir. First, I would like to thank the management and head of the department and the coordinator, Dr. K. Srinivasan, sir, for providing this wonderful opportunity to deliver the session on research challenges in IoT. Uh, thank you, sir. Yeah, ma'am, you can proceed, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, today, we'll have the discussion about because this is the last session. So let us have a discussion. What are the research challenges in IoT? Uh, how the IoT have begun? And uh, what are the major role uh, has been undergone by the IoT? Uh, so today, this is the agenda of our IoT. First, we will have the discussions about uh, how the IoT origins and what are the enabling technologies in IoT and how the sensors are interfaced. Then uh, we, uh, what is the reference model? That is nothing but uh, uh, the architecture, what we are following in the IoT because each and everywhere we use, whenever one system has framed, there must be some architecture or else a reference model. Uh, so for example, if you are considering the microprocessor in the before 15 years or 20 years back, we used to have the architecture like a 8085, 8086 microprocessor and also microcontroller 8051. So according to that, they are framing some architectures. In the same way for IoT also, we are having the same reference model and also how the IoT has been used in industrial robotics uh, so this this is our agenda of our today's uh, session and uh, internet of things uh, as we all know uh, we are all we all are connected with the internet and uh, the things uh, things is nothing but the devices which are connecting and they started to communicate over the internet connections only because all the things uh, for example if you are connecting with the laptop or tab or a car uh, everything has been easily monitored because we are placing some sensors to monitor and it will convey the information. So the things are communicating uh, with the in, through the internet with the users. So internet of things is uh, the combinations of we are combining the things with the internet 
so all the physical devices are getting connected uh, so this is the internet of things and uh, how the what is the internet of people and things uh, in the olden days of 2010 we people don't use much of internet only we are sending for uh, transferring the files or else uh, the industrialist people only will start to use the internet and uh, in in 2020 we people started to use because we we are connected with the things and the things are connected with the internet so every day from the morning onwards we started to use the internet and uh, we are connecting with the people all over the world uh, so the things and the technologies are getting going and uh, the free people are connected with the internet and the things are connected with the internet then the things also connected with the things so this is the happenings of uh, from the 2015 to 2020 uh, the things uh, the uh, emerging technology of the iot has started growing after the 2015 only but the millions and billions of people have started using uh, the iot and uh, this is the technology road map of iot how the iot begins because in earlier days of uh, 1960s we used to have only the network that is we can make we can able to communicate only between the host systems and in uh, during 1990 Uh, the communication happens between the host and the web so the internet has started evolving and after 2000 we started to communicate with the mobile we are having the host system and also the web system and also the mobile system then after 2010 uh, the communication happens between the host and also the people mobiles and web so the technology started moving on to different domains and also the people are getting and connected and also the mobile and also the pc systems are also getting connected after 2010 only and uh, after 2015 to 20 the period of uh, uh, emerging technology that is of industry 4.0 why we are saying industry 4.0 means because uh, the whatever artificial intelligence machine learning deep learning internet of things robotics so these are some key research areas and this is emerging areas so what the revolution happens before the 2015 and after 2015 so so that the industry 4.0 has started arising so after 2015 to 20 only we people started to use much of internet of things because we people are connected with the things and the things are getting connected and uh, we are monitoring we can able to monitor all the information uh, so this is our technology road map of iot and uh, if you are assigning the addresses because we have to assign each and every addresses to each and every devices which are getting connected so if is it possible to uh, give the address to all the devices means when we are assigning the addresses to all the devices we are in need of ipv6 address because it can support n number of addresses because it allows each addresses to each devices so is it it will be possible only through the IP the v6 address and this is the architecture of iot so how iot is making communications with the user and how the devices is sensing the informations means first we we are placing the sensors and the sensors will sense the information and it will transmit all the informations to the modem but it is you but it will be using the communication protocol that is a communication protocol is nothing but we are using the either wifi or zigbee or as bluetooth technology to make the communication protocol to make, we are making the communication protocol to communicate and the information has been transformed to the modem and the modem will store all the informations to the cloud and through the cloud we people can able to uh, receive the information from the server and this is i have already explained so what are the research challenges we are facing in uh, iot because we are having n number of problems uh, we are using the emerging technology but we also face some issues uh, the first thing is network challenges second thing is software development challenges third one is new and complex dependencies fourth one is the security challenges first one network challenges what the network challenges whether the communication was reliable and whether the communication communicated information was properly delivered so the uh, and whether there is no network issues in delivering the communication so that and all will be monitored in the network challenges and also we are facing the diversity that is a global diversity between uh, whether the data and the communication has been distributed globally and also 
we are facing the low power consumption because we are placing the sensor nodes to monitor uh, to monitor the complete environment so the battery life and everything has to be monitored and whether it consumes low power to transmit uh, the informations everything has to be considered in the network challenges and uh, software development we, we are sensing so much of information that is a huge amount of information but all the data has been stored in the cloud and uh, we have to uh, frame the designs uh, software and also the hardware and also the network configuration so whether everything was uh, can be easily manageable so everything has to be monitored in the software development challenges and what are the security challenges whenever we are doing the banking transaction uh, in earlier days of uh, 10 years back we used to do only the net banking uh, because uh, that alone will be a safe uh, safe for uh, to transmit the amount but uh, nowadays we started to use google uh, google pay and paytm and so many apps are like that amazon pay and so many applications are available but uh, uh, these applications will not provide a secure communications if if anything if our amount has been seized or else getting attacked we will not able to uh, file a complaint against them because uh, if if it is of a bank tra banking transaction it will be very secure in the net banking so those unsecured devices has to be uh, blocked uh, and it will be communicated only with the help of uh if any suspicious attack ha happens and it will source the notifications as uh, uh, the suspicious link is uh, going on like that uh, we are uh, we will be giving some alert uh, so we these are the security challenges we are facing in the iot and uh, what are the iot platforms available means uh, because it fulfill the gap between that uh, how the device and uh, how the applications that is uh, we the users are how we are fulfilling the gap between the iot device and also the application and uh, what are the devices we are using means uh, amazon web services google cloud platform and also ibm watson iot platform so who are these means uh, these services are offering uh, cloud services to us because we can easily able to store and uh, for example google uh, gmail uh, also providing up to 15 gb of data for uh, free of cloud Uh, in the email uh, applications we used to have uh, we can uh, have the applications of storing the data and we can retrieve whenever we are in need and we can access from the google drive so that thing will be happening in the google cloud platform but if we are using in the amazon web services or else ibm watson uh, iot platform uh, we have to purchase the cloud because whenever we are going the beyond the limit we will get the some notifications like uh, uh your your limit is exceeding so you have to purchase the cloud like that uh, in gmail also we used to get the notifications <coughs> what are the iot features first thing is uh, the significant feature is uh, main thing is connectivity and uh, the second thing is intelligence third one is energy fourth one is whether it was safe or secure and fifth one is whether it can able to sense the sense the information and the sixth one is whether it was dynamic in nature like that every every thing has been this is some some of the features of iot and uh, what are the enabling technologies in iot because uh, we are having n number of technologies and uh, what are the enabling technologies means first thing cloud computing cloud storage is very very important because whatever the sense the information can be stored only in the cloud computing only and the second one wireless sensor network because the sensor nodes will be getting monitored through the wireless sensor network and we are framing the wireless sensor network to monitor all those informations and the third one is embedded system uh, previous of 10 years back this is one of the boom area uh, embedded system but uh, nowadays it was getting older because the new technology has been adopted and uh, the edge devices are uh, getting connected with the enabling technologies and also the sensors are uh, some of the enabling technologies getting connected and the next thing is communication so what are the communications protocol we are using for making the communications so everything has to be everything has to be monitored uh, in the enabling technologies of iot so sensors 
uh, so the main purpose of sensors is to sense the information sir. that is nothing but real time uh, real time entity has been monitored that is uh, whether we are monitoring the temperature or pressure and everything the real uh, situations of the particular person and also the environment has been monitored with the help of sensors only so we are using the humidity sensor temperature sensor accelerometer and also the infrared sensors smoke sensors color sensors uh, touch sensor ultrasonic so these are some kind of uh, sensors and we are depending upon the application we started to use uh, different sensors for different application and uh, what are the sensor classes because we are classifying this uh, sensor into two types based on output and also the based on data type first based on output we are classifying into two types analog and digital yes. and based on practical program is not there theoretical Hello, Jaya, ma'am. Jaya, sir, ma'am. to monitor the health condition or a uh, uh, heart of the patient uh, so it it will start to uh, measure it as a way, it as a way form only so uh, whenever we are monitoring the heartbeat or else uh, the heart conditions of the patient uh, that is a heart disease patient uh, so we used to get the waveform like a pqrst so what is that pqrst means the waveforms are uh, going up and down in terms of uh, analog uh, throughout the analog sensors only we are able to uh, get the waveforms like the heartbeats are measured in terms of waveforms and the digital sensor the name itself digital so either it will be of a zero or else it will be of one so if it is of one uh, it will be in on condition and it will be of zero means it will be in off condition uh, so the digital sensors also will sense the information but it will show the output in terms of digital logic that is of ones and zeros only and scalar sensors here, uh, the scalar sensors are mainly utilized uh, uh, to monitor uh, the magnitude uh, of the quantity. Whatever the quantity we are uh, measuring, uh, here the magnitude can be measured in terms of a uh, scalar. And in the case of uh, vector sensors, we can monitor both the uh, magnitude, direction, and also the orientation. What is the orientation mean? In which axis it falls under? For example, if it is of x, y is a coordinate axis if we are choosing. So all the coordinate axis has been measured through the vector sensors and the edge devices. So edge devices uh, is a main entry point to the enterprise network. Uh, for example, uh, if you want to monitor the water level indicator of the, you want to measure the water level indicator uh, whenever we are uh, using in a home. Uh, so the syntax tank will be there. And uh, if it is of uh, below the water level, we, we can place the sensors that is a threshold level of the water. So if it is of below, so it has to be automatically, uh, the motor has to be on. And if the threshold value is above, so it has to be automatically off. So the overflow of water and the emptying of water also can be reduced. And also those information, those sensed information will be uh, monitored and uh, it will sense the information through the land connections and also it will be transmit only through the, if you are connected with the internet, we can monitor all the devices which are getting connected. 
and the embedded system this is one of the old most technology uh, and also now also we are using but we are integrating with some other domains so what are the things we are using here means microcontroller memory organizing unit and also the input output units the microcontroller uh, mainly used to control for example when we are sitting in a particular place and we are switching on and off the ac and uh, if, if we are increasing the temperature of the ac uh, air conditioner and also when we are uh, changing the remote of uh, whenever we are watching the tv and uh, the sensors only will transmit the information and uh, it we are changing the channels like uh, uh, some other channels if you want to switch over the channels also uh, because it is controlling the remote is controlling the uh, tv uh, that uh, signal has to be changed some other channels if you want to switch over we are using that and the next thing is memory uh, what are the memories they are holding means ram memory rom memory hash memory uh, so the next thing is organizing units what are the organizing units we used to have means wi fi connectors or else we should have the ethernet connections and the main thing to make the communications effectively the first thing we should have to give the input and the last thing we have to get the output so in real time uh, mainly embedded systems uh, can be used in the real time operating systems what are the communications uh, we are achieving so how it is getting communicated means the first thing we are using is rfid second one bluetooth third one zigbee and fourth one wimax so wimax we are using for the wireless applications and rfid tag we are using for many of the practical implementations also and uh, zigbee and bluetooth have some similar characteristics because both can support only the low power applications only they can support but uh, the zigbee will be limited to very short distance and the bluetooth will cover up to 100 meter of distance so the communications happens uh, how the information is getting communicated means uh, through these protocols the information has been communicated with some other devices and also wireless sensor network so it is a collection of uh, small size nodes because we are placing so many sensors so all the sensors will sense the information and it will uh, send the information to the sync node so the sync node uh, will transmit the information to the user but through the internet only they can able to send the information because the physical events of that particular place has been monitored only through the sensors nodes and mainly this can be implemented in the defense applications and also in the military applications and uh, the next thing how wireless sensor networks are used in agricultural applications we are using uh, uh, ultrasonic sensors and also infrared and so many sensors we are using the crop condition or else uh, if you want to monitor uh, the which field has to uh, the water has to be poured or else uh, uh, we have to monitor the crop conditions of uh, uh, crop conditions also we can place the sensor node so it will send the information to the sync node so the sync node will uh, transmit uh, through the gsn uh, to the mobile and also Uh, to the farmer house uh, the what the plants are getting drying so the water has to be given to that particular uh, that is of uh, that uh, area particular uh, land area field area so like that uh, we are using the wireless sensor network in agricultural applications and also how we are using the wireless sensor network in forest fire because uh, uh, in during summer seasons and uh, hot conditions we used to have Uh, some uh, forests are getting fired uh, and uh, how the forest fire has been identified means we are placing some active sensors and also inactive sensors so active sensors will send the information to the cluster head so the cluster head will transmit all the informations to the sync node so the sync node will transmit uh, the information to the server through the internet but uh, how the information has been communicated means through the internet it was uh, communicated to the fire fighting device and also the forest officer uh, to alert them uh, the fire occurs in this particular place like that the alert has been sent to the fire fighting and also uh, the forest officers and cloud computing so cloud computing is uh, mainly to mainly used for storing and we are accessing the data through the hard hard drive so cloud based storage only it is possible to save the files at a remote database and retrieve them on demand basis and uh, what are the cloud services they are offering means google cloud i cloud 
Microsoft Azure, uh, Microsoft Office, Amazon Web Services. These are some cloud web services offering in offering uh, cloud storage. All the I request all the participants please be muted until unless you have any queries please do not unmute. Sorry for the disturbance, ma'am. You can carry on, Jaya, ma'am. Jaya, ma'am, am I audible? Hello, ma'am, you are not audible. And I request all the participants to join back as the session is less than a minute. Jaya, ma'am. So, how the cloud services are offering in uh, so Jaya, here? Uh, 